I made a promise, Mr. Grodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. One of the intricacies of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings is the relationship between Samwise Gamgee and Frodo Baggins. In the Fellowship of the Ring, the story builds up to the breaking of the Fellowship and the final scene between Frodo and Sam on the eastern shore in Emen Muil, which poetically symbolises their friendship and adoration for one another. Frodo solitarily sets sail towards Mordor via the Anduin River, Boromir's betrayal being the catalyst in his decision leaving Frodo unaware of exactly who we can trust in the Fellowship. Unselfishly, Frodo was not willing for anyone in the company to risk their lives for what he supposed to be his own burden. This is a feeling that Frodo has carried since Gandalf sent him from the Shire with the Ring. In the Shire, Frodo is journeying with Sam and Pippin when he utters, It is one thing to take my young friends walking over the Shire with me until we are hungry and weary and food and bed are sweet. To take them into exile, where hunger and weariness may have no cure, is quite another. Even if they are willing to come, the inheritance is mine alone, I don't think I ought even to take some. Frodo then goes on and declares to Sam that it will be very dangerous, more so than it already is, and that most likely, neither of them will return. At this stage of their quest, the only peril they have faced have been the Nazgul, or the Black Riders as they would refer them. Frodo has not yet committed to being the ring bearer to Mount Doom. Sam states to Frodo, If you don't come back, sir, then I shan't, that's certain. Don't you leave him, they said to me. Leave him, I said. I never mean to. I am going with him. If he climbs to the moon, and if any of those Black Riders try to stop him, they'll have Sam Gamgee to reckon with. We see this time after time throughout Lord of the Rings. Sam continually prevents Frodo from further harm, even when cast aside by his best friend. Let him go, you filth. Not if I stick you first. Sam, I can't carry it for you. But I can carry you. Come on. Now, who is they that Sam refers to? Many assume that he made this promise to Gandalf. It's just something Gandalf said. What did he say? Don't you lose him, Samwise Gamgee. I don't mean to. When actually, this conversation was had between Frodo and Sam the morning after spending a night in the woods of the Shire with Noldorin elves, who were traveling west towards the Grey Havens. So Sam made this promise to the first set of elves that he ever met. What do you think? Did you think that Sam made this promise to Gandalf when he left the Shire with Frodo? Until next time, Melonin. Han on for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Lord of the Rings Theory. Namari. Embrace the power of the ring, or embrace your own destruction. When you shall be blamed, broken, the crownless again shall be king.